Brickland spring break is here and for many families while a surge of vacationers are heading to the airport, they're also seeing a surge in prices. News 19's Julie Kaufman has more from the Columbia Metropolitan Airport. Services, please. Columbia Metropolitan Airport is bustling with travelers. CAE officials tell News 19 they've seen a significant increase in traffic compared to last year. When I first got to the airport, it was jam-packed. Norma Mailer flew in for the Masters. Well, I hope to see Tiger. <laughs> While demand for flights is going up, so is the cost of tickets. I figured it was because of the, the flight being, you know, to Columbia as opposed to Miami, but I can see that happening with the, the way cost of everything is going up. According to the flight tracking app Hopper, domestic airfare is trending 7% above 2019 prices. The average cost of a round trip ticket was $330 in March, up 40% from the beginning of the year. The study says airfare is also expected to rise another 10% through May. I'd say it was about the same as it was pre-COVID, yeah. Scott and Leslie's flights to London cost them about the same as it did before the pandemic, but this time they say it was much busier. We just literally got the last seats uh, at check-in, so uh, we, can't, we can't actually even sit together. Analysts say the high prices are partly due to a surge in oil costs. According to the U.S. Energy Information Administration, jet fuel is currently $3.79 a gallon. It hasn't been that high since 2008. A CAE spokesperson tells News 19, quote, ahead of spring break travel, we encourage passengers to not only pack their patients, but continuously check the status of their flights. Arrive to the airport at least two hours early and remember the current mask ordinance is still in place. In Columbia, Julia Kaufman, News 19, WLTX. Under CDC guidance, TSA requires masks to be worn in airports and on planes through the 18th of this month. It's unclear if the agency will extend the requirement or let it expire.